Here we are, City of Industry, Frank and Sons Collectible Show, going on a vintage Star Wars hunt, Wednesday night. I believe they're open from like five to nine. Right off the bat, Star Wars, right off the bat. Let's take a look. We got G.I. Joe's, the code name for America's highly trained special mission force. These guys have a really good selection. Ooh. Boglins. You see the rubber isn't holding up well on those. But they're here and they're available. 550 bucks for Twiggy. But he's great. And I say Mickey Mouse Coco there for a thousand bucks in the back. Crazy, crazy. Dark Helmet. They've got all the Gen X stuff here. Masters of the Universe. Creepy Soulless Eyeball Dolls. Thundercats. Cool stuff here. Masters of the Universe. This place always. Ooh, there's a kit right there. Oh, Land Device. I'm sorry. Batman and Robin. Carded Superpowers Batman. 500 bucks. Holy moly. Hey, Street Fighter. Look at that. They have this one. All right, this is what we're looking for right here. I knew they were going to have it. But the question isn't whether or not they have it. The question is, what is the budget like? Because this place compared with eBay is usually considerably more expensive than eBay. I do have a nice looking Leia there that I'm probably going to end up picking up. And do you have my list? Twenty-five figures left. Hey, there's a Lando there with a spear that doesn't match for the Emperor's Royal Guard, and I do need that spear. I need a Vespin Trooper, but I need the black one. That's only the white one. C-3PO, Death Star Droid, 20 bucks. He's kind of a beater though. Chewbacca, okay. All right. Let's go make a deal. I want to check out this guy and I don't see a price on this R5D4. And then, is there a price on the R5? I'll get one. Okay. And then also, how's he look? He looks good. Let me see this guy. 
I need this guy. And... And then we'll check out the R5. Cool. Dark helmet, great selection and great deals. Give a second, let me see what I can do. All right. This is the spot. This store's got so much selection. It's almost like if you're looking for Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Thundercats, if you're looking for those properties, this is the spot. What's going on, Bobby? Peace, people. What's up? What's up, man? How you been? Good. How are you? Back at Frankenstein's, huh? You can't stay away from this place, can living you? Living a dream, bro. Living a dream. <laughs> so I wish. Where's your booth? Right around the corner right here. We'll go check it out. All right. I always love this spot. Reminisce about Toys R Us. No pressure. Now we are with my biggest daughter, Gwen, making the decision. She does struggle with decisions. She's like her mother. If there was one pin, she could get it. But they have all the pins. And with all the pins comes all the responsibility of all the decisions. Which ones? All right. The choice is yours. And it's the choice of a new generation. Just grab them off of there, give her 10 bucks. Burt Ward and Adam West signed Batmobile. How cool is that? Mayor West. They got all kinds of Adam West stuff signing here. So cool. Cool Monster High dolls.
That's what it, that's what Juliet wanted. So let's see what she picks. Hardest working man in the business. Trying to do. Checking out all the good stuff. She got a Monster High doll. Pikachu. And Pikachu. Pikachu. Pikachu, right on. Well, did you know that uh, the uh, voice actress for uh, Ash, Ash Ketchum, she's coming out to the amazing Comic Con in Las Vegas. Vegas Con? She is. Vegas what, uh, when, when, when is it this year? April, it's early this year. So it's April 28th, 29th, 30th. Oh, nice. Um, so really cool stuff. Um, we have some great deals. You can come on out to Frank and Sons, get some special tickets um, out to uh, you and your buddies. Um, out. Um, a lot of cool Pokemon stuff that we'll have going on. A lot of cool G.I. Joe. Larry Hama, man. Larry Hama, yeah. Yeah, I've met him a few times, but you can never meet him too many times. I think all these all these like like legends from like the Bronze Age and stuff like that, not going to be with us. And that's anybody. I mean, so that. Whoa! So that's, like, that's, that's going to be everybody. Um, so, I mean, that's not a, you know, to scare you into meeting anybody. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. It's more like, you know what, appreciate all the people here. You know, while, while you can come up and see them at a convention, say hi, give them a, a, a handshake, high five. Thank you for, for all those, those great memories that they gave us. For um, sure. I mean, I, I was very blessed to, I want, over the last 10 years, got to hang out with Stan Lee at one of your events. Absolutely. Neil Adams. Oh, I mean, like, think of, like, guys like Lynn Wee and Herb Trippy. I mean, these guys, that they used to come out to, like, all of our shows. And you took it for granted that you are going to see them. Oh, I'll see them at the next show, or I'll see them at the next show. Or a lot of people did. But I think that's kind of the, you know, that's kind of the thing is that we should really appreciate the creators while they're here, while they're healthy, why they even want to make the trips. Um, you know, and, and these are just great opportunities to connect. So I think the best show to see them is at your shows, too, because they're always more intimate. You know, I... It's kind of like a hangout slash Comic Con well, for reals. You know, I, I, it sounds very self serving when I say that. Like, oh, yeah, you know what? At our events, it's so much better. But because we're comic fans, we're comic people, that is the, that's always the vibe that we get. We want to make sure that everybody gets interaction, great interaction with, with the guests. Good looking out, Jimmy. All right, man. Well, it's always great. I always got to come by and say hi to Jimmy whenever we come to Frankincense. Yeah. You know what? Thumbs up, man. It, it's the hardest working man in the business. All right. Well, the big girls, big girl got her pins. I got my Star Wars figure. Little one got her Monster High doll. Got one more person, the idiotiest, bittiest one. We gotta get her something. All right. Show me your toy, Ellie. Yay! I'm glad we're able to get something for everybody on our visit to Frankincense today. And if you're a collector or you got little kids, there's always something for you here at Frankincense. Fortunately, I was able to make a really good deal with the people at Dark Helmet and the girls were all able to get something. So it was a win-win for everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more awesome content from Collection Connection and keep your eyes peeled for our Star Wars hunt here.